I drank some of Kelly Slater's energy drink that he offered me and spilled it all down my face in front of him right before an interview. So I'd say that topped this event. Um, but he was a good sport about it. He laughed at me, I laughed at myself, and then we went live. And our job is to read and react. So you're just constantly listening and constantly changing your game plan. I go back and forth between enchiladas and crispy tacos. I started off in music, so I used to interview a lot of bands and artists and singer-songwriters and stuff, so it kind of runs the gamut. I still follow a lot of the people that I interviewed way back when, and some of them have gotten bigger and some of them haven't, so my playlist is just a mixed bag of whatever. I do also listen to a lot of electronic music, um, follow a lot of different DJs. I love The Magician, is one of my favorites. He always has these mixtapes that are really great, and they really kind of cut me up and get me excited to work and I don't know it, it sort of changes and ebbs and it flows and I, I'll just pick like somebody else's SoundCloud and start following or Pandora or whatever and I guess that's, it, it's, it, it's ebbs and flows. The women on this tour are absolutely incredible. The fact that they're so young doing what they're doing, handling the pressure that they're handling, moving the sport forward like they are, it's really hard not to be in awe of them and I'm just really impressed with not only the people that they are, but also the, their athletic ability. Um, it's, it's every event, there is a moment where you just kind of stop and you're just like, wow, I wasn't doing that when I was there. <laughs> and I think it's really important to women in general. I mean, anytime you see successful women in sports, that always bleeds over to the next generation who's watching them, and, and they're incredibly inspiring. And they also all really pay attention to their fans. They're very, very giving, and that's huge. Even just at this particular event, there was um, some fans that flew all the way from Australia just to see Courtney Ponlong. Um, and they were so excited. They, they came out here for like a couple of days just to see her in person. So there's those kinds of stories. And, and then the fans, of, particularly of the women's surfers, they always are hitting me up on Twitter asking me questions, like supporting whoever they love. And you do see that um, maybe a little bit more sometimes from the women in terms of their fans just really reaching out all the time and, and being very, very passionate. I really love this one, Tussles. I'm from California originally, so I really understand um, the history of this event and the prestige behind it, but I also started here last year. So for me, this is my one year anniversary. It's full circle for me, so I think um, it's the first event I've been to twice, and I love that about it, just being on this side and kind of seeing you know, the progression of where I've come from last year. My name is Chelsea Cannell, and I'm a sideline reporter for the World Surf League. Don't forget, you can catch all the action on worldsurfleague.com and download our app. You can watch live or catch us on CBS Sports. We'll see you there.